Hello, I am, I'm Carmen Sánchez Guevara and I'm going to present the technical assistance we've made for the municipality of Lorca called Fighting Energy Poverty at the Historical Center of Lorca. The team who developed the technical assistance is from the Technical University of Madrid from the research group called HEAT. I'm going to present which uh, were the objectives of the technical assistance, what's been done, the main results we obtained, and which are the main recommendations we've proposed to the municipality and the conclusions. First, the objectives of the technical assistance uh, were uh, the assessment of the energy poverty situation in Barrios Altos neighborhood in Lorca, which is a municipality in the region of Murcia, and it was aimed at establishing recommendations for the intervention and reduce the conditions of energy poverty among the population living there. Lorca is a city located in the southern part of Spain that suffered a earthquake in 2011. And since then, vulnerable population uh, are living in damaged housing. The, there you can see the team who um, developed the technical assistance. And what's been done in this technical assistance? Main activities uh, were split into the implementation of qualitative methodologies and quantitative methodologies, a combination of both of them. The qualitative analysis was made through interviews, questionnaires to households, uh, an expert panel with um, technicians of the municipality and then a participatory work with also with the technicians. And then the quantitative methodologies uh, were developed through the use of uh, the climatic characterization of uh, by using um, weather data, um, cadastral studies, and also uh, an analysis of the consumption uh, patterns and energy bills was also made. Uh, main results uh, show, well, first the characterization of the housing stock. Uh, it's composed mainly by old housing with high energy consumption and expenditure. Here you can see a map of the neighborhood with the uh, share of expenditure um, destined to uh, the energy bills. Uh, you can check it's extremely high, the energy needed in these houses. Uh, we also found potentially substandard housing uh, with damp damp dampness, also uh, carpentries in bad state, structural deficiencies, and the presence of materials with asbestos with the health impact it may have when, when doing any building works. And also we made an analysis of the energy bills we could collect and we also check the energy expenditure was extremely high. The characterization of households made through questionnaires and interviews, um, the data we obtained is that they were mainly middle-aged women and children who cannot maintain adequate housing temperature, who faced heat or eat choices, and also they were under dependency conditions. Also they presented health issues, including mental, mental health. Uh, these dwellings presented high occupancy, uh, irregularity patterns, they were overcrowded, also with illegal connections, uh, insufficient power, and they tend to use multiple energy sources, uh, Bhutan, firewood, and in many cases, equipment were completely outdated, and they suffered also uh, vulnerability conditions um, from energy suppliers and companies. 
and how they cope with extreme temperatures they tend to use or they tend to search for refuge uh, climatic shelters even though there are no proper climate shelters in this neighborhood Um, also, we consider social interaction something relevant to maintain the community and to cope with these difficulties. Uh, the resources from social services, we, um, we saw they were very limited. They didn't have guidance on energy issues. Uh, they were focused uh, on working on basic care uh, needed, needs and they presented these uh, households, they presented cohabitation problems and also we detected um, a feminization of energy poverty in this, in this neighborhood. Um, from the experts panel made with uh, technicians we um, detected the results show there's uh, there are some needs regarding a proper census of the neighborhood uh, the implementation of bioclimatic design or also they needed some training in energy related topics uh, we also detected some potentials um, the possibility to implement some climate shelters in the neighborhoods and of course uh, huge um, limitations were detected in the expert panel such uh, high rates of poverty and mar marginalization um, a huge amount of assistance needed uh, substandard housing and the complete absence of parallel social programs Also with these technicians, a uh, work was conducted in order to understand um, the outdoor part of the, of the neighborhood. Um, there was a lack of vegetation, there was not a proper design in order to have uh, proper shading or spaces to be comfortable uh, during summer. Uh, also regarding surfaces, um, there were no bioclimatic choices and uh, also uh, the public space was um, occupied by private vehicles and uh, there was uh, neither uh, water uh, elements available. Based on this uh, re research that combined um, um, different methods, uh, quantitative and qualitative, we proposed several recommendations. Uh, first, improve the urban conditions, of course. Um, uh, review the presence of basic services electricity supplies, uh, the improvement of accessibility, increase of insulation or uh, building works to uh, renovate and increase insulation. Um, also a complete uh, review or of these households in terms of structural safety and fire safety. Also, we propose the elimination of underground dwellings to improve habitability conditions. Um, a whole uh, audit in terms of uh, bioclimatic conditions to check whether the availability, availability of lighting, ventilation and solar exposure, because I have to say there were um, very, very, very low quality of, of, the, of the housing stock of the neighborhood. Um, and also, <clears throat> there was a huge rate of informality. So the, the housing tenure should be reviewed by the municipality in order to give some um, safety conditions of, to, to these households. 
um, we also proposed a strong project related to urban regeneration uh, through uh, planning, financing, and um, the management of tools for housing solutions. Um, also, we proposed the detection of spaces that could work during summer as climate shelters. And also, uh, we recommended technical training to the technicians of the municipality in order to increase their knowledge on energy-related topics. Uh, given a broad perspective of the problem that we had detected in the neighborhood, we proposed the incorporation of the health perspective, uh, which would involve the primary care services of the municipality. Uh, we proposed a campaigns focusing on the impact of the exposure of extreme temperatures on, on health. Um, also, uh, we propose this health um, point of view in the retrofitting of these properties as well to increase thermal comfort. Um, also, in all the, given all the informal connections or illegal connections to the electricity network, we proposed also to work with Lorca firefighters uh, to detect these uh, kind of problems and solve them in order to decrease uh, some possible risks to the population. Um, also, um, uh, the study proposed uh, to work with Lorca water in order to ensure adequate access to drinking water, which also was scarce in some households. And uh, also, a uh, strong work with citizens through forums or consultations was required in order to engage the population in the um, changes that were required in this neighborhood. Um, thank you very much and I hope this has been a uh, useful experience of this technical assistance to Lurka and if you need anything I remain at your disposal. Thank you very much.